Today I'm very excited to try out the Toby iTracker 5, who were awesome enough actually to sponsor this video. The Toby iTracker 5 is a head and eye tracker that works natively with Star Citizen. I've been wanting to check out this forever because I've always wondered if it was possible to use it with salvaging, like stare at the ship and burn away the hull like a junkyard Superman. So we're going to test it out and see how viable it is to actually use eye tracking for salvaging. And along the way, I'm going to show you how in a matter of minutes, I went from using the eye tracker like this. Using it to make Star Citizen look like this. Stick around to the very end while I'll let you know how you can win your own Toby Eye Tracker 5 plus a Constellation Aquila and other Star Citizen game packs up for grabs. My name's Dead Leader, and let's look at this one together. Firstly, setting up the Toby Eye Tracker was super easy. I was worried that I might have to wrestle with it a bit, but all I had to do was plug it in, run a program where I lined up where the tracker was to my screen, set it some dots, and it worked straight out of the gate once I figured out what the toggle button was. It was forward slash. Uh, uh. Uh, first thing I did was I claimed my vulture from the hangar and set out into space to see how the cockpit felt with tracking on. Hmm. Wow, being able to look at MFGs is crazy. Oh, so I can actually zoom in by moving the head forward? Wow. Wow. I would like to want to look at the MFD, like, oh! <laughs> it's freaking me out, dude. It kind of gives me away whenever I. Every now and then I, like, don't know what button, like, where my hand is on the keyboard, and I have to, like, look down. <laughs> And the camera tilts down, like, where's Anakin on the keyboard? And I look down and I look down at my crotch. <laughs> Made my way to a Lagrange point to do some salvaging and decided to turn the ghost bubble function on. This was a feature that has it so you can allow people to see exactly what you're looking at. I'm absolutely going to use this in the future for tutorial videos with stuff to do with like salvaging because often when you're making a tutorial or showing someone how to do something in Star Citizen, it can be pretty tough to show exactly what you're asking them to focus on. <laughs> and so I usually have to do a bunch of fancy editing work in post just to really highlight what I'm talking about at any given time. But with the ghost bubble, I found it does that job for you. Uh, as here it demonstrated, for instance, I had to find salvage by scanning and looking for the right signature. As you can see, my eyes dart back and forth from the salvage icons to where the signature was being displayed. They even have a way to let people turn it on or off over a Twitch stream in case uh, you want to see it in stream or not, which was pretty cool. As if you have no reason to kind of want to look at what someone's looking at on stream would probably be pretty distracting, but great for those who need it. To get it like to go far, I need to like look far. Otherwise, like, I wanted it to be like, if I just look at the corner of the piece, it would go to the corner of the piece. But it's like, it needs like a bit of like a push. So I gotta like, uh, uh, to, like nudge it. The thing, the thing is, <laughs> having it all turned to your eyes, you, like you can control your head movements, but you, like, your eyes are going to look at whatever, like, interests you the most like there's all sorts of things happening on screen 
Like you might go, huh, I'll read this, whoa. And then all of a sudden like your la lace is going off up the top. This is actually quite hilarious. Like, yeah, so you have to go like, uh, to move it over, but then it like overshoots it and it's very hard to get it. <laughs> Back. I mean, it's funny as hell. What if I turn down the responsiveness? And give just a little bit, just give it a little bit of head. Uh, the head's like a bit of a, like a nudge, I find. That worked a lot better. What's missing about in the Vulture, I was trying to figure out what it was exactly that I was enjoying so much about the Toby Eye Tracker and how it made the game look. As someone who makes content for Star Citizen, it for sure made getting the right angle so much easier. When you're using the third person camera to capture yourself doing something normally in game, you have to, one, do the action so you know for instance walk forward and control the mouse so you don't walk into a wall or whatever and to control the camera so press or hold f4 hold z and use a mixture of mouse arrow keys and page up and page down to tilt and get the camera how you want it sort of naturally and by that point, to get a good shot, you're having to sort of crab claw your hands all over the keyboard, like a game of Twister. And if you stuff up, you need to run back and try and get the shot all over again. With the tracking on, while in third person mode, all I needed to do was control my character and the rest of the work was done instinctively with my head and eyes. Not only was it easier, I realized why I liked the look of everything so much more than just playing stock Star Citizen and even when I wasn't getting footage. You see, I'm a huge fan of the show Battlestar Galactica, and in BSG, they really were made famous for using this sort of handheld look in their space battles. So it's sort of like the camera would sort of dart and zoom around as if it felt like, you know, someone was actually out there and reacting as they happened live. And uh, it made it look like it was coming from someone's actual view and gave it this sort of dirty realism to all the footage. And that's what the Toby Eye Tracker 5 does, not just in the footage I wanted to shoot for videos, but for the entire game. It loosens up the camera so that it's more responsive and expressive to you naturally without everything only ever moving on an unnatural rigid sort of axis. And sometimes having the tracking on didn't help all that much. It wasn't for every situation, but luckily when you toggle it on or off, it's separate for each view type. So if you don't want it on while you're in first person mode doing first person shooter missions, for instance, but you do want it on when you're in a cockpit, then all you need to do is toggle it on or off once and it will remember which mode it's supposed to be for which view type. So it's not entirely like, it doesn't take over the entire game just being on. And as I mentioned at the start of the video, Toby is running a sweepstake to win a Toby R Tracker 5 plus the Constellation Aquila with runner-up game packs, including an Avenger Titan, an Aurora MR, a Mustang Alpha, or a 100i. For more details, click the link on screen or down in the video description. And if you're interested in grabbing a Toby Eye Tracker 5, then they've generously offered a 15% discount link, which you can also find below. So if you're interested in doing this for yourself, whether it be for content creation or more just of immersive experience, check out the link below and grab yourself a 15% off. Thanks again to Toby for sponsoring this video. Once again, my name's Dead Leader, and I'll see you out there in the verse.